Hey, this is Margaret with Desserts and Delicious. Let's make these tiger cookies. So I, one of my girlfriends, her daughter, is going to Auburn University. And so we're going to make these Aubie cookies. I ordered this cookie cutter off of Etsy. Um, so it has a lot of impressions. We're going to use poppy paint to paint the orange um, for the tiger, as well as a Walmart cookie icing to, to um, make the black um, stripes. And so I cut out um, the piece using fondant and I'm going to tap it out of the mold because it has a lot of indentions. And then we're going to use the corn syrup to attach the fondant piece onto the cookie. I like using corn syrup instead of water. So I'm trying to get in some of those crevices so to make sure that the fondant sticks. Now we're going to take our poppy paint. I'm going to add this to a little cup, which I'm going to dispose of later. Um, so now we're going to just paint the orange areas that I would like for it to show on the cookie to represent the, um, the tiger or obby. And I'm just going to continue to do that all the way around in those areas that I want to be highlighted in orange. Okay, now that that's all done and poppy paint dries really quickly. So now I'm gonna come in with my black cookie icing from Walmart and I transferred it to a small piping bag because uh, with the smaller tip, it, I am able to really fill in a lot of the uh, crevices, crevices um, so that it really brings out all of the features on the tiger cookie. And I'm using a toothpick here just to smooth things out. And I just go in randomly and paint in those um, crevices again, um, black to really enhance the, the tiger stripes. Okay, and I'm just gonna continue on. And then again, doing the same thing, just filling in, as you can see, all of the little crevices there uh, that were made from the cookie cutter. And this really makes it very easy. These cookies were actually came together very quickly because of the outline that I was already provided. And again, I'm just filling everything in here on the cookie. And now we're going to make the whiskers. Okay. And so now all of my obby cookies are complete. I'm going to let them dry overnight to make sure that everything is secure. And here's the collection of the Auburn cookies. Like and follow.